Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would do a review video on my vegan Doc Martens. So these are my boots. They are just black vegan Doc Martens and I have had them for about five months. So in this video I'm going to talk about the price of them, breaking them in, the size and the comfort and versatility. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it's helpful if you are thinking of investing in some vegan Doc Martens. So this pair of Doc Martens cost me £139, which I think is actually a bit more than the price of normal Doc Martens, which I do find a bit strange considering that normal Doc Martens are real leather. Like, you'd kind of think that they'd be more expensive, but actually they're cheaper. But anyway, that was how much they cost me. I can't actually remember if I got a student discount on them, but Doc Martens do sometimes run student discounts. So if you're a student, check that first. However, it's not always on all lines. It can be a bit sneaky and you might not always get the money off on the vegan ones. So that is how much they cost. And as I go into the video and review them more, and then at the end going to discuss whether or not I think they are worth that money. Okay, so one major talking point with Doc Martens is is the breaking in process. They are known for being horrific to break in and my mum warned me when I first got these that it would take me a while to wear them in. So I will admit these did take ages for me to break in and even wearing them now after five months I need to be quite careful. However I do have some tips on how to break them in well. So first tip when I bought them I just made sure that I wore them all the time. Obviously with wear, they're going to break in, they're going to get more and more comfortable. So when you first get them, make sure you wear them all the time. Having said that, make sure you have comfy socks on. This is a tip that I, for a while, did not follow. I actually ended up bringing my boots with me on a weekend trip to London and they were the only shoes I'd bought. And I was walking around London all day, every day, and my feet got in agony. My legs were so sore. I actually think I might still have some scars from what the boots did to the top of my leg. They weren't so much rubbing in giving me blisters. That was more at the very start. But then it was actually this top bit here that I had to wear in and it wasn't because I have them too tight because that was another thing. Do not do them all the way up. I would never tie them all the way up because I just think it's way, way, way too tight on your legs and it really does start to rub. So I just have mine, as you can see, one tie down and now it's fine. When you first get your Doc Martens, I would recommend wearing a pair of socks like these. These are actually what I would call bed socks. They are just super thick, fluffy socks but you can get away with kind of rolling them down a bit in the boots so if you don't want them to be too visible they're not but honestly if you wear these you will not feel them rubbing after my horrible experience in london i made sure to invest in loads of big socks like this that you'd usually wear in the winter time to bed and these help me so much to break in my boots and to stop me getting blisters or horrible cuts on my leg for the first i would say few weeks of wearing them you really should be wearing some kind of socks like this and blister pads I wore blister pads to try and protect my feet. So then after about a month of having them, I transferred to socks like this. So these are still very much thick socks. I don't know how well you can see that. They're still not like thin normal socks, but they're a little bit thinner than the bed socks. So they do still give you some protection, but you can wear them out and it's not gonna look silly. Even now, if I'm going out for a long day, I will always wear thicker socks like these. But what I will say is now, if I'm only going to be wearing them for a few hours, I can get away with wearing just normal black long socks rolled down. Overall, in terms of the wearing in process, it is long. I would say it took about two months but that was of me wearing them quite consistently obviously times will be different compared to who you are and what your feet are kind of like but for me that's how long it took like i mentioned though it wasn't really getting blisters it was the top bit being really tight to my leg so i don't know if that just means i have really fat legs but this will be different depending on person to person but honestly what i would say is just bear with the breaking in process because after the breaking in process they are so comfy so this leads me on to my next topic i'm going to talk about sizing and comfort so first of all i'll talk about comfort 
So as I've said, they are quite hard to wear in, but honestly, just persevere with it. Now I can wear them with thin socks and they are so comfy. They're great for if it's a bit chilly and you need some boots that are gonna keep your feet warm and I don't find that I get blisters with them now. So just persevere and in the end, they will be like, your best friend in boots for. In terms of sizing, I'm a size six and that's the size I bought and they fit me perfectly fine and that's literally all I have to say about sizing. For me, they fit perfectly and I had no issues in terms of sizing. However, I would always recommend going into the shop and trying them on. I actually tried on some Chelsea boots from them that were in a size six and they were really snug. So I think it can depend on the boot as to how they're going to fit. Okay, so in terms of the actual quality of the boot, I do not have the real leather ones to compare them to, but to me, they're absolutely great. So this is one of my pairs. This is what it looks like. Just show you all around. This is a bit of paint that was me because I'm an idiot that I need to clean off. So ignore that. But in terms of the rest of the boot, there are some scuffs here and there, and it does look a little bit worn. As you can see, like here, there is a bit of creasing. But to be honest with you, I actually quite like that. I think that these boots look better when they look a bit worn, and they were actually worn like that after the first couple of months of wearing them. And since then, they haven't really seemed to wear and look any old. So I think like in the first few months of you having them, they will kind of crease, but then after that, they kind of preserve their quality. I certainly haven't noticed any more aging on the boots and I just think that it adds to the style of the. It's like with something like Converse, I just don't like walking around in like bright luminous white Converse. I like once they've worn a bit because they just look nicer and like you wear these boots all the time and I think that is just a nicer way to wear them. So another thing that I like about the vegan range is as you can see the tag on them is a different colour and I think that this is actually really nice. It gives some originality to the fact that you've got the vegan boots on and I actually honestly kind of prefer this tag to the normal tag. I just kind of think that it's a bit more subtle and nicer. So now I'm going to move on to versatility. Now for me, I have found that I have been wearing these boots with the majority of outfits that I wear. I do live in Scotland, so it is quite cold all the time, so I am able to wear them with most things. If you live in a hotter country, it might be a bit more difficult to do that. But for me, as a uni student, I wear them every day to uni. They are so easy and I find that they go with every outfit, whether that be with jeans, whether that be with trousers, or whether that be with a dress, you can honestly get away with wearing them with anything. Also versatility in terms of your style. I find that my style is really varied. Sometimes I wear really colorful outfits. Sometimes I wear maybe all black outfits. Honestly, I wear a huge range of different styles and I find that the boots kind of cater to any style that I want to wear. They're just really simple and easy and could be thrown on with any outfit. I think in terms of versatility, they get a thumbs up from me because I've literally been wearing them with everything. So this leads me on to are they worth the money? In my opinion, yes, 100%. They've worn really well. Obviously, I've only had five months of wear, but I have been wearing them constantly. And as I showed you, they don't look mega old or tatty or anything like if you bought um, a cheaper pair of boots. So for me, they were definitely worth the money. Plus, like I've said, you can wear them with a whole host of outfits. The only downside to these boots that I would say, they might wear a bit quicker than leather boots, but if you are quite passionate about not wanting to buy leather, then I really don't think that it is that much of a sacrifice. The only downside of them is the wearing in process. It is quite quite lengthy and does take quite a bit of time. But if you persevere, they end up being really comfy and really great boots. So that is all, that is my review. I 100% think they are worth the money despite being expensive. But like I said, if you're a student, look out for a student discount. So I hope that you all really enjoyed this review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.